Hello and welcome everyone to this short Nosby video screencast showing you how backup and offline usage of Nosby works. This is a new, a very cool, exciting feature. Many applications offer you backup to your local hard disk, but usually they use a very boring XML, CSV, whatever format that you actually cannot use. And the same thing was was applied to um, to traditional backups. They were boring and they didn't help you at all. When Apple introduced, for example, Time Machine, they made backup sexy. They made backup use useful, really useful. And um, I admit I'm using Time Machine all the time with my backups. So in Nosby, we thought the same thing. We wanted to make the backups useful and really cool. So there you go. Here's my sample Nosby account with some projects and some some tasks, next actions. Uh, and then I'll show you why Nosby's backups is so different. When I click on the settings, scroll down to uh, backup your data and use Nosby offline. Click backup export. There's a text text file, a simple text file. Download it to your computer. When you open it up, you can see that actually you can read the text file. You have projects, you have tasks, you have notes. Everything is here, and it actually makes sense. You can actually read what you have to do. But then there's a kicker. You can actually get stuff done here offline without any internet connection. For example, I want to add another task to my inbox. I'll just do this. New task in inbox. And I have to add here my project name. So I can so so it knows be knows this is for inbox project. If I want to add um, for example um, a, a new um, note to stuff to do. What I can what I can do is just like use this bracket um, format and parentheses and go to a new note for test thing and project name is stuff to do and context is errand. This is my test note. There you go. It's done. Better yet. Uh, if you want to get some, something done, let's say, for example, I have the extras page for notes be ready, I just change this to plus. And if I want to um, mm, uh, remove a task, uh, all I do is do a minus. You can actually use this list to get stuff done. And now, I save this file with these changes, with these new tasks added, some marked as done, uh, some uh, marked for removal, and a new note added, and then now, let's, let's just see what happens. I just click to import Nosby backup file, choose file, Nosby export, open, and let's save. Nosby is reloading the whole information. The task in inbox has been added. My remaining tasks, tasks remain unchanged. If I go to Nosby, you can see that I have marked this task as done, and it is done. It's there. It's done. If I go to my project staff to do, new note for testing is here. I have added the note, and it's here. This is my test note. And the context is even here, the errand context. And if I go to proactive show, my, my task is not here. I have removed it, and it worked. Let's check something new. For example, uh, let's add an action here. New show about uh, traveling. And let's add a comment. I want to travel and show the world. And now let's go and back, it, back this up again. There it is, it's my new file. And as you can see, uh, my comment is here. So even the comments are being imported. It's an important thing to note that you don't have to import everything back. If you want to work on only on one project, for example, Proactive Show, I just can remove all this and add a new task. It's really important to add a project name. Otherwise, the new task will go to your first project, which is usually your inbox. And then um, let's add a new note. And um, let's save this file and uh, let's import it. This is the new file. Let's go, and if I go to Proactive Show, the only project I was working on, I can see another action, another cool show with the context video, and my show notes are here. So everything is in place, 
and um, my all the other projects are intact. So the import was totally successful. As you can see, with this new upgrade, we've not only added you an ability to download the whole NOSB account that you have, the whole entire backup with everything, comments, notes, and all the actions, and all the projects, and all the context, you can also work on it with these backups. This is actually a file that can be worked on and can be worked offline. If you go to a, for if you, if you go on the plane for an entire flight, you can just download the whole thing before flying, work, do the weekly review offline with the text file, and then import it later, and it works. So um, good luck with NOSB backup, NOSB offline usage. Um, I'm sure you'll love it, and I'm sure it will make you even more productive even when there's no internet connection and will give you a peace of mind that you always have a copy of Nosby on your hard drive safe with you.